Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. In this video I'm sharing a quick tip of something you may not have thought of. So I'm using binders and one of the ways that you can organize using them is to add a binder cover. But if you're like just setting up your filing system, you're not sort of sure how you want to organize your folders, that kind of thing, then you can print out a blank cover. And then, just like this, this is a freebie on my blog which is allaboutthehouseprintablesblog.com. So you can download this one and then if you just slip it into the front, I'm using clear view binders. These ones are from Target, I got them on clearance for like a dollar. And then you can slip it in the front and then use a whiteboard marker to write in your text on the label. So if you weren't sure what labels you wanted to use or you're just like getting set up, setting up your binders and you don't want to go to the effort of getting um, labels made when your needs may change, then you can do like a temporary system which is where you put the binder in and then use a whiteboard marker um, to write in the title that you want on it. And then the great thing with whiteboard markers is if they is they rub out quite easily, so you can just use your finger or get like a tissue um, and just rub out the text if you want to change it later on. If you did want to make this more of a permanent system, if you leave the whiteboard marker on for like a week or so, it will become like more permanent and then you can use like some water or some like cleaning spray and then um, wipe it off that way if you did change your mind. So I got these um, whiteboard markers from Kmart, they were only a couple of dollars and they came in all these different colours but you'll probably end up just using black. So I recommend these ones, they give a nice um, thick text. The other thing that you can do is get these thin ones, these are real mini ones. These ones were from Daiso, I got, or Daisha, however you pronounce it. They got, um, I got them in a pack, there was quite a few different ones, there was five different colours. So you could use them that way. There wasn't a black in the pack though, unfortunately, but they give you a nice thin um, writing. So the other way that you can use them is to do like a daily to-do list. So if you print out one of these just blank um, stripe patterns like a digital paper, I'll include a link below to where you can download them from my blog. You can then um, start to like put your daily to-dos on there, or you could do like a checklist or like random things to make sure you like don't forget them. If you keep your planner printables in the binder, you can have this like on the front as your point of reference. And then all I did was turn it into like a checklist by um, writing in the white space and then the blue, etc., for the stripe pattern. So for these um, like checklists, I used the thinner style pen, and then for the top like of the title, I used a fatter pen which was in the pink. Um, there's all these pretty different colours, this blue is so pretty and they have a really nice green as well. So these ones were from Kmart and they were from Daiso. So you can do like a to-do list or you can also like do a temporary um, filing system. So on my blog there'll be the blue one and then you can also do purple. This was when I printed it borderless so when it bled right to the edge but I mean you don't have to do that. You can just keep um, it at normal printing which will give this little thin white border up to you. And then there's also going to be a green one on the blog as well. So there'll be a few different colors so you can set up your binders that way. And of course, you didn't have to write on them if you didn't want to, you could just leave them blank and just have the pattern showing. So you could do like your daily to-dos, get a tissue and then rub everything out and start with a clean slate for the next day if you have this like always sitting on your desk. So it's just a couple of ways that you could um, use binders to organize. I did print these onto full sheet label paper. So it's just like sticky paper. Um, you can peel off the backing if you wanted to, but I just left it on there because I'm slipping it in the front as a cover. Otherwise, cardstock is really good for binder covers because it's more sturdy. And the colours seem to like, they they show up more and they pop better. And they just look nicer than if you print on paper, which can be a bit flimsy. So I recommend doing full sheet label paper. Glossy will really make the colours pop. Otherwise, cardstock or just matte label paper, which is what these ones were printed on. And the whiteboard markers were from Kmart, and then these mini ones were from Daiso, or Daisho, however it's pronounced. You could also get them from like Staples or something similar. So I hope you found this um, quick tip helpful.